Hey everyone, happy Monday. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you had a really great weekend. And first of all, I just wanted to apologize because I was not able to do my Fab Five Friday last Friday. And I think this is the first Friday I've missed. And I just was not feeling good. I think the change in weather, it just affected me. I had like this 24 hour flu. It was so uncomfortable because it was so hot here where I'm from in Southern California. It's just been really super hot. So I apologize for that. So what I think I'll do is I'll try to, um, I do have five products. I just, I haven't had um, the chance to upload it yet. But if I have a chance today, I will definitely do it. But if not, I'm going to do it by Wednesday. So just hang in with me guys, because I love sharing my wonderful, wonderful finds with you guys. I think it's awesome that we have this community that's interested in like, you know, what we put out on YouTube. So I definitely want you guys to know that those Fab Five finds are definitely coming. But what I wanted to do really quick, um, I've had a few people, a few of you gals, um, comment on my hair. And I just want to say thank you so much. Because if you would have known me growing up, like my hair was always a point of reference where people like would make fun of me. And I don't know why. Like, I don't know, because maybe I had so much and like, um, I don't know, uh, my, my husband and people have said that people um, used to make fun of my hair because they were jealous of my hair, but I thought, why would you be jealous of my hair? Like, it just didn't make any sense. I always thought they were just being mean to me, but now that I'm older, I've definitely grown into my hair, and although it's difficult at times, I do enjoy um, the texture of my hair, and I do enjoy um, how versatile my hair is. So a lot of you ladies have asked me um, for a tutorial on how I get my hair um, in the updo that it that I you typically see me in every day. So, or not every day, but when I do post videos. But I wanted to just show you the true texture of my hair. Um, this is basically just um, I've been using like these Aussie products, um, like a I think it's like a three minute miracle and. I don't know, I heard about their line and I've used it and it's really, it's really great. And so I used the three minute, first I shampooed it and then I used the three minute miracle and then I used the smoother for like five minutes, you know, while you're shaving and stuff in the shower. Um, so this is just, um, this is day old hair. So this is from, oh, actually no, this is from Saturday night. So I washed it, I did the treatment. And then all I did is I put in, um, I put in a keratin oil, just like, um, I can't go over there and reach for it, but I will show you guys in another video the oil that I put in my hair, but it's just like a, it's an oil that just helps with just the luster and stuff. So, um, so this is just my hair, and as you can see, it has a lot of texture, and it just has, there's different textures in my hair. You see some parts that are straight, and some parts that are really kinky and just curly. So, um... The great thing about this is that um, I don't have to like tease my hair. I know a lot of gals have like thinner hair and it's not so full and when you want to have an updo, um, you have to tease your hair just to get the volume. So I don't tease my hair at all. So this is just it. And it's super simple what I do like on a daily basis. Um, yesterday I did, um, I have a large barrel curling iron. I think it's like either a three or a four inch. So I just grab like some of my bangs. I'm letting my bangs grow out. They were a little shorter. And I just kind of curl them. So this is just the leftover just little flip that I have from yesterday. But I don't do anything special, I promise you. What I do use is I use these hair bands because they're longer and they're stronger. Like the smaller ones that I've purchased, they just bust because my hair is just too thick. So I do wrap it twice and then I put it around my wrist because I'm getting ready, right? This is all that I do. I grab my hair just loosely, like I don't pull my hair at all, I just grab it loosely. I kind of run my fingers through um, just to kind of pull out any knots that are in the back. And then I grab it from the nape. See, it's just like this ponytail in the nape, the nape, the nape, the nape. So that's it. I just pull it in this ponytail. Then what I do is I just, if I see like these top pieces kind of crazy, I just kind of flatten them out. I mean, pull this back too and it's okay if I pull all my hair back because I end up pulling it out from the sides and from the top once it's in the ponytail like the shape that I want it so let's do that again just go to the nape and just pull it 
then you're just going to walk it up. As you're walking it up, just kind of like move it around so that you can get some of that volume here. So just move it around in your fingers. That's it. Start just bringing it up from the back. As you can see, it's like way too voluminous here. Um, so that's not going to be a problem. This is how I keep the volume. I don't just put the ponytail holder flat against my skull. You see how there's like this poof here? The lighting in here is kind of bad. I'm sorry, but I need to have my AC, so that's why I'm in my bedroom. Um, let me just see if I can show you. It's almost like you're pulling your hair up all the way, um, and you're not going to secure it like to your to your head, per se, or your skull, okay? You're going to lift your hair up off of your skull just to kind of give it that volume. My hair is kind of ratty right now, but it's okay. Then you just put it through once, okay? There's one time. Then I just take a single loop. I put it through twice. And I don't pull it all the way through. That's what it should look like, like this really funky little funky do on the top of your head but for me the whole point is now I get in here like you'll see like this I don't know if you can see that that and that I get my hands in there and then I just pull and then this is like the most easiest thing to do because at this point everything that you do here is completely up to you you just start pulling over like the little strays and then of course I have my handy dandy bag of bobby pins because girls, you can never have enough bobby pins. And I buy them all the time and then they just get lost. Like, I don't know what happens to my bobby pins. So at this point, it's kind of hard for me to see, but then I just kind of pull out. I pull out from here. You know, you want to go into your restroom or a place where you have a mirror in the back so that your hair doesn't look all crazy from the back. But I'm not going to do that right now just for the sake of time. So you just start pulling out and then you just kind of like pin, just kind of pin it so it just kind of like stays put. Um, and that's it. Any like loose strands where you're like, oh, I don't like that, just pin them down. And then you just keep pulling and then I even like I pull from here just to kind of make it look like, I don't know. I don't like the hairs falling on my neck because I get super hot super fast. So I just like pin those up too. Just pin them up. Pin them up however you want. You can twist your hair or whatever. You can do what you want. But really, guys or girls, that's all I do. And then I just pull hair from here. And again, like I said, because my hair has so much texture, it doesn't take a lot for it to stay. See, that's just my hair inside of there because it's so voluminous, it just pops out. But if your hair is thinner or you don't have as much hair as I do, what you would do um, is you can um, roll your hair. And I'll probably do a video on that just to help you guys. But they have these really super cool, um, I have to show you, I forgot what they're called. But they're like these um, flexible um, curling tools. They, they're heatless, they're just like these curl rods and they've got like this really nice um, layer to them on the outside and they're bendable so then you would just like get a piece of your hair wrap it around I think they're called twistables or something like that I forget and then you would just leave that in your hair for a little bit just to get the texture and then from there like your hair would look so amazing just up if you wanted to wear it up because then you have a lot more curl and texture to your hair a lot more fullness and you can just get this big ponytail but again like I said because my hair just kind of does it on its own naturally like I don't have to do so much so my hair usually takes like two minutes to do if I want to play with it and style it like I would do something more with my bangs I would pull this out more I would maybe curl these little pieces here um, but like just for like I just right before this video I had just mopped my bedroom so like I'm all sweaty and stuff but like I don't know, sometimes I don't want any hair in my face and I would just like bobby pin it back with a cute bobby pin and then pull hair out from here just to kind of balance it out. That's probably how I'll wear it right now just because I'm so hot. But anyways guys, that's it. See? Super easy and perfect.
perfect for this weather because it's super hot, guys. So, anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. And my son gets out of school early all week. So, he has some chores to do today. So, I'm just kind of getting the house ready for that when he gets here. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this tutorial somewhat helped you guys. And see, even when it's kind of messy like that, like, don't even worry about it. Because the messy look is in, right? So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and then I will do my very best by Wednesday to show you guys my Fab Five products, okay? Take care, guys, and as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and be blessed. Thanks, guys. Bye.